just outside of the main entrance to Mahaney Park, or at least one of the entrances. Uh, this is the entrance that goes to the fire station, and you can still see plenty of flashing lights, obviously a lot of tape. We are on Pleasant Grove Boulevard, and if we can now pull back out and then pan around to the left with our photographer tomorrow, she's going to give you an idea of how just how big Mahaney Park is and why you would understand if there was any confusion about where these gunshots happened to come from, because not only are we talking about the baseball complex where you saw those flashing lights, you have an aquatic center, you have a library, you have a lot of different um, buildings and fields. There's a football field that is attached to all this. So as we continue to swing along Pleasant Grove Boulevard, you get to the, the massive scope of everything that uh, the Mahaney Park has to offer. And then as we continue to swing back around, you're going to see Wood Creek Oaks Boulevard uh, off into the distance, and that is essentially the intersection uh, where we're at right now. Zach Boetta, who you just heard from, is about uh, a quarter of a mile from us uh, to the uh, southeast. Now, as we continue almost doing a complete 180, this is the uh, shopping center. Uh, this is the Raley's Shopping Center. So if you're familiar with Wood Creek uh, Oaks Boulevard and Pleasant Grove Boulevard, this is the Raley's Shopping Center, uh, basically at the corner right here. And all these little businesses right here. We're looking at an ortho, 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 orthodontics place, uh, a Goodwill, a Little Caesars. Uh, there was a subway on the other side. Uh, we did have an opportunity to walk in there and ask people, did you happen to see anything go down? Did you happen to hear any of these gunshots? And the majority of the people we talked to, in fact, all the people we talked to, uh, said they either weren't here at the time or they weren't able to hear stuff. Now, that's kind of a stark difference from what we were able to uh, glean from people who live in a neighborhood that is to the north of Pleasant uh, Grove Boulevard because of where those the location of those shots were fired. If you go due north, that's when you get into that neighborhood, and there's not a lot of, of blocking that particular uh, blocking the audio or the, the, the sound of the gunshots um, from going into the neighborhood. And we spoke to one person who said that uh, they have a neighbor who told them that they were able to hear about seven gunshots being fired, then there was a brief pause, and then about three more. So we did a 180 loop with our camera. We're going to bring it back uh, to the other side. We can tell you that Pleasant Oaks, or excuse me, uh, Pleasant Grove Boulevard has been open now since about uh, a th quarter to four or so, 3.30 uh, this afternoon, about three hours after this uh, initial uh, shooting took place. Uh, the same with uh, Woodside Creek. Uh, at the intersection, uh, basically where we're standing at right now. So people in this area are able to go by, but as we showed you off the top and then as we swing back around, we'll pan into one more time. You can still obviously tell that there's a lot of police uh, at that entrance to fire station number five with Roseville Fire and to this uh, Mahaney Park uh, complex. And I hope that gave you a kind of an idea of the location that this went down, just how big uh, this park is. And again, why there would be some confusion possibly about where these shots come from. I I know, Nikki, you said earlier on that some people thought that they heard these shots coming uh, from the Raley's parking lot. And now that I give you the lay of the land, it's understandable just how those uh, those gunshot audio travels and just how wide this area is and hard to pinpoint exactly where this all happened, Nikki and Eric.